Hello, Gemini. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of October 18th through the 24th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and join me daily for my quick glance daily readings. Now, Gemini, take what resonates, leave the rest. These are very general readings. And for this week, I am using the new Jack-O-Lantern tarot deck. So Gemini, let's take a look at your card. See what's going on for the week ahead. First card, Ten of Wands. Next, the Nine of Wands. And the Three of Pentacles. And your overall energy for the week ahead is the tower. Major Arcana card, the tower. All right, Gemini. We'll get to your oracle cards in just a bit, but what I'm kind of picking up is there could be something that you're avoiding this week, Gemini. It's almost like you have all this help and support around you, but you're not fully taking advantage of it. And for some, Gemini's definitely has got to do with your health and well-being. So let's just get into it, Gemini. With your first card here, you've got the Ten of Wands. This is your anchor card for the reading, sets the tone for the week ahead, and I'm especially picking up this energy in regards, if you keep going at the pace of what this Ten of Wands is indicating you've got this little vulture bird just waiting there an indication that you're like working yourself to death so a huge message coming off of this card wow that you're doing way too much and not enough for yourself gemini now this is a card of having too much on your plate it's working really hard, having a lot of responsibilities, obligations, and you have a tendency, Gemini, to put everyone else in front of your own needs. But the Ten of Wands is a message for you, Gemini, to like delegate out responsibilities to others around you. They should share this heavy load that you have. If you do not, this is where this bird being a vulture has its own meaning of waiting around for you to expire. But it's a bird. It's a message. But in this deck, it is a warning. Then it's going to hit you health-wise. So you can put an end to all this responsibility and stress and burden that's what this number 10 energy is indicating. Or the end is going to be thrust upon you. So it can kind of go either way, Gemini. So let's pull some clarifying cards for the 10 of Wands. You're not the only star sign to get that card for this week. So many of you are working way too hard. All work, no play or simply just putting everyone else in front of your own needs. Okay, so the first top three cards, we've got the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Swords, Major Arcana card, the Moon, So Gemini, the Queen of Cups here is an indication to pay attention to your intuition because your intuition, your inner voice is going to tell you you're working too hard. It's going to give you the signs and signals that you need to take it easy and your body is going to scream out at you. Now, your next card is proof of that, Nine of Swords. It's about stress, worry, not being able to sleep at night having nightmares. So this nine energy 
of this card is to review what's giving you this anxiety, the sleepless nights, and fix it in the light of day. Now here's what you need to pay attention to, the moon card showing up. That's an indication that things are working behind the scenes that you're unaware of, and this can be in regards to your health, Gemini. Something is going to rear its ugly head, especially with the message here with this vulture. So I'm just picking up this huge energy, Gemini, that you can't continue as what you've been doing. You need to really evaluate your lifestyle, how hard you push yourself, Gemini. That's about the best way that I can put it because these cards are very clear. Listen to what your body is telling you. If you're not sleeping well at night, you need to investigate why. But there's definitely something here going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of yet. And it will surface. As you see right here, you see the little crawfish is coming out. So something's going to crawl out and make you acutely aware. Now your next card, the Nine of Wands. And boy, look at this. What an attitude that I'm picking up on this individual. No one's going to be telling this individual what to do because they're basing how they feel on all the wands in the background. Each one is a different experience, a lesson that was learned. So the Nine of Wands is kind of like waiting for the other shoe to drop, being on guard. But the main energy I'm picking up off the Nine of Wands could be that you think you know what to expect, so you might have all your defenses up, kind of ready for it, but things are going to turn out differently. And it's all in regards to if you're listening to your intuition, if you're listening to what your body is telling you, Gemini. This is about if you expect the worst, that's exactly what's going to come your way. Because this is Sagittarius's energy. Very enthusiastic, progressive, adventurous, but unpredictable. Very restless energy like a tiger in a cage. Now, here's another thing you need to know. This card's ruled by the moon. So there are secrets, things that are hidden from you. That's why you're feeling possibly a bit defensive and cautious, but you know deep down there's something going on. So this nine energy is one of review. And to go back over what your intuition telling you, your past experiences, the lessons you've learned. So... Let's pull some clarifying cards for the Nine of Wands. But a very, really unpredictable energy here. And we're going to take the top three. Death. The Emperor. Ooh, and the Seven of Swords. Interesting, Gemini. The death card. Now, if there were other specific cards that end up coming up in your reading, this is really not a good sign because you're working too hard. Especially with this vulture message. But in general, the death card is about transformation. And what it's actually an indication of is more the death of your old ways. You need to change, Gemini. You need to change something, uh, possibly going from being the old you into a new you, paying attention to the message and the guidance coming in, paying attention to what your body is telling you. There's too much of a heavy workload energy here in your entire reading, which is going to get you in trouble. And the Emperor card is a very masculine energy, kind of set in your ways. You're kind of taking a stand. This is how it is. But the Emperor card is also one where you need to think of things more logically, rationally. The basic structure for your lifestyle, your health and well-being. 
This number four energy can have you stuck in the same scenario where you're working too much and too hard and you're putting everyone else ahead of you, Gemini. Kind of the same energy, if I remember correctly, you had last week. Now here, the seven of swords showing up. This could be a very unexpected change coming in and certainly it could be one that's forced on you. Or it could be that you're making a change that surprises everyone around you. Now, this card here is also ruled by the moon. So you have a lot of moon energy where things are just constantly like working behind the scenes. So for some Geminis, you're going to do something out of the ordinary. And hopefully it's fixing your situation and you're going to start to look after your health and well-being. So let's just move these out of the way. Your next card here, this is where things can start changing. You have the three of pentacles. First message that really jumps out at me is you have a lot of people around you giving you advice, support, but a lot of people who are putting in what I'm going to say their two cents in, but consider it a blessing, Gemini, rather than a nuisance, as this is very good intentions from others. But with this Three of Pentacles showing up, you're getting noticed for some reason. So the light is kind of like shining on you. You're taking center stage. Certainly can be the work that you do. Maybe people are noticing that you're not up to par. So this is something that's starting to emerge, something that could either be tying into your health, what you do for a living, your lifestyle. This is actually new beginnings something new developing you might say it can be you are starting to take steps to make some changes so let's pull some clarifying cards for this three of pentacles pentacles is about your health as well as being a lot about your money and finances Okay, the top three cards. <laughs> wow, Gemini, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Major Arcana card, the Hanged Man. Oh, and the Ten of Cups. Well, this is definitely clarifying the Three of Pentacles. You've got the help of others around you, people that can assist you, give you information, knowledge, choices, and it's bringing you this, it's bringing you to this long-lasting happiness energy, all is well, provided you see things in a different light. You're looking at things in a different way. And this light that's around this individual's head is connecting with the divine. It's your seventh chakra, your direct connection with spirit. So tapping into what your intuition is telling you. Seeing things in a different way, maybe sacrificing how you operated previously with whatever this Ten of Wands is referring to. And you're going to have a lot of success, happiness. You're going to be celebrating. So this Three of Pentacles has people coming in this week, Gemini, to help you with their advice, their information, their knowledge. They're seeing you're not at what I'm going to say 100%. And this is truly a card of support. And with it being the number three energy, this is something new that's trying to come in and help you out. Now your last card here. Your overall energy for the week. You have the major arcana card, the tower. Now with this being your overall energy for the whole week, it's pretty much telling you, Gemini, that if you don't make changes in regards to your lifestyle, maybe eating habits, exercise, stress, work, how much you do on a daily basis, the tower card is going to make the changes for you. This card is showing that it's like blowing the lid off of what no longer 
is good for you in your life, Gemini. So it's a big realization with this card coming in that you cannot continue as you have been. You have to make some adjustments. And this number 16 reduces to seven. There's going to be things that you have no control over, Gemini, that you're going to be dealing with. And that's kind of due to yourself. If you aren't listening to your body, listening to what it is telling you, this is going to just shake things up for you to make sure that change happens. So Gemini, you might be in a job that's tremendously stressful. Maybe something you don't enjoy. Maybe at first you did, but you have a lot of responsibility and now it feels just like a burden. And you're a little bit apprehensive here about looking for another job because you're kind of quite comfortable where you're at despite working so hard. But with this Three of Pentacles energy coming in this week, that's a, that's a change for a new beginning for you, Gemini. If you do not heed to whatever the Ten of Wands represents and to change your lifestyle, how hard you work, what you do, how much you do for others, not putting yourself first, this Tower card energy is coming in this week and it's going to get rid of whatever is not serving a purpose for you, for your health and well-being. So even though this could be in regards to the job that you do or possibly what you do at home for your family, it's all going to boil down to the changes that are needed because it's not good for your health and well-being. So let's pull some clarifying cards for your overall energy this week. The Tower card. Let's see what we get. What's going on? Why is this truly showing up? But it's kind of very apparent here with the cards you're getting. Okay, top three cards. Two of Swords. The Magician. Ace of Cups. All right, Gemini. So definitely not making a decision kind of putting it off, going to do it later. It's not going to work out very well for you with this tower card. Also, again, you've got the crescent moon. There's something working behind the scenes that you're not seeing, that this change that's coming in and maybe thrust upon you, maybe to take a rest, and yeah, the tower definitely manifesting. Manifesting something for your benefit. This is almost like spirit intervening here. Because you've got the Ace of Cups, an overflowing cup of love and guidance, intuition. Spirit's really trying to get the message across to you, Gemini, with this card. The Cups are not only about love and creativity and inspiration. It's got to do with your intuition and paying attention to it. So, wow. Okay. So, actually, your numerology for your tarot cards is number 22. That's a master number. It's called the master builder. And this master builder can actually take an idea that you have, something that you have in mind, and actually, with this energy, you can actually make it become a reality. So that could certainly be in regards to what you do for a living or all the work that you do. Making a change, it's really going to benefit you and your future Gemini. So for some of you, I keep picking up the energy of you wanting to launch something. You're working on something, but you... Keep putting it off. That's part of your Three of Pentacles energy. But all this other energy here, your health and well-being is kind of putting that like on a back burner is what I'm picking up. So with this master number 22, you can also reduce it down to four, which brings us back to that energy of just staying put, being stuck, 
not changing, but the tower card change is definitely happening by either you making the change, Gemini, or it's going to be thrust upon you. And the latter is not pretty. Now let's take a look at which crystal your angels and guides are suggesting for the week ahead. You received, wow, Gemini, bloodstone. All right, you can see here on the card, detoxifying. It concerns your root chakra, your base, how you're grounded. It concerns your heart chakra, your sacral chakra. It's all about change coming in. And let me quickly grab my bloodstone crystal here. I don't think if you can see the red specks. There you go. You might be able to see some of those. But wow. Very strong sign this week for you to start to look after yourself, Gemini. So this crystal card, an indication to detoxify your physical body and your spiritual energy. It's an indication that balance is needed in your life. So this is looking at your diet, your exercise. If you're drinking enough water, focus on what you're breathing in. And it's really an indication to make some changes, Gemini, not just to your physical body. This is also in reference to your spiritual side, so to speak, as well as you're possibly getting too drained from other people's energies around you. And you need to be aware of that. You need to kind of shield yourself from negative people that are around you. Or people that either consciously or unconsciously draining your energy, which is why you're getting these first two cards in your reading, being too overdrained, overworked to the point where it's really affecting your health and well-being. So definitely listen to the message from the Bloodstone Crystal and card coming in this week. Now let's take a look at your Halloween Oracle card message for the week. You received skeleton. And it says strength. It's mainly got to do with when you don't want to burden others. You don't want to ask for help and support. You might feel kind of vulnerable. But if you do, put yourself out there being somewhat vulnerable, you're going to get greater understanding from the people around you, Gemini, and things will then turn around for you in a much faster way. But trying to hide maybe how you feel or what you need to do or what you need to eliminate. Sometimes it can be pride or embarrassment, Gemini, stands in your way. But this is a card indicating that kind of admitting to what you're feeling vulnerable about actually, it actually gives you strength. And then asking for help and support, that shows strength and wisdom, certainly not weakness. So main message here, don't be afraid to ask for help from others around you. And that also ties into your Ten of Wands card. Don't be afraid to delegate things out. So Gemini, wow, main message coming in this week is to really look after your health and well-being. And for some Geminis, it's simply overdoing it, working too hard. And ask yourself, who benefits from all this hard work that you do? Yes, you get the paycheck, but who really benefits? Whoever it is you're doing the work for. Now, the nine of wands is that you're very guarded. You think you know what to expect, but actually your clarifying cards are saying there's going to be some kind of transformation where you're either going to stand your ground and not want to give into it, or you are going to turn things around. The seven of swords here is a very unexpected energy. So for some of you, you're not going to do anything. And then the change is going to be thrust upon you. For others, you're going to initiate a change. The Three of Pentacles is some new energy developing with the support and help of others around you. So it could be in regards to your lifestyle, your health and well-being, could be in regards to your job, 
could be a different job you're going into, or maybe into like a home-based business, because you've got the Ten of Pentacles here. It's kind of out of camera shot. Where you're building like a solid future for yourself. And you're looking at things differently with the Hangman card coming in. So you're going to be very happy with the results. But you have the overall energy of the tower this week, which is making it very difficult for some of you. And the clarifying cards is an indication you have a decision to make, but you're not making it. You're putting it off. The Magician card here, I feel, is more spirit, trying to manifest you with bringing in this Ace of Cups, trying to reconnect, get your messages through to you, Gemini, through your intuition. Pay attention to what the Tower card energy is trying to do for you this week. It's not eliminating the entire foundation here. It's just getting rid of the top, what no longer serves a purpose to you. That's an indication of your lifestyle. There's something in your lifestyle that just needs to change, maybe working too much, always doing too much for others, uh, putting yourself last. So that needs to change. Your angels and guides are suggesting the bloodstone crystal to meditate with this week. Detox your physical body. Pay attention to what it's telling you. Also keep in mind that there are people around you that are draining your energy in any number of ways, either consciously or unconsciously, but it's happening. And you need to protect yourself, Gemini. The skeleton oracle card message, don't be too proud to ask for help and support in making these changes that are needed. Moving forward on your behalf, your health and well-being. So it's interesting, Gemini, there's something centered around the work that you do, that you're doing, that somehow is not good for your health and well-being. Maybe the type of work that you do, maybe what you're exposed to, because you're getting the bloodstone crystal. But we've got this little vulture here, an indication. The message is actually a warning from this little bird. Something is affecting your health and well-being, and certainly... With this Ten of Wands, that is having too much responsibilities and obligations and you need to do something about it. The Three of Pentacles is an energy that I feel that most of you are going to be moving towards, maybe new beginnings, especially in regards to how you take care of yourself. It's going to get you to this energy, your Ten of Pentacles. By changing up your mindset, we'll go through that again, changing up your mindset with the hangman card and presenting you with what I call like the happily ever after card because you're celebrating, you're happy with the choices that you've made. So some of you are going to embrace the tower energy, make the changes yourself. Others, it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. So... How strength for this week, Gemini. This is really going to help you. An indication. Don't be afraid to ask for help. But your cards here are all indicating all of them. You need to pay attention to make some changes, Gemini. Put yourself first. Thank you so much. For joining me today, please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And if you're interested in a private tarot card reading, my website link is listed below. Love and abundance to my Gemini family.